Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see how to add page header and page footer to a SSRS report and how to add different related fields like execution time, page x of y, right, page title, etc. to the page header and footer sections. So for this, let us go to SSDT. Now in this particular video tutorial, we will use the report that we have developed in our last video tutorial okay so let us go through the report so we can see that in this report there is data related to three regions right asia europe and north america and the data related to each region is displayed on a separate page okay so on the first page data related to asia is shown on the second page data related to europe is shown and on the third page data related to north america is shown now the problem in this report is uh, although it displays the tablix header row on each page that we solved in our last video tutorial but still this sales report that is the report title is not coming on every page right what if we want this report title to come on every page right so once we go from page number one to page number two we see that there is no report title right on page number three also there is no report title so what if we want to repeat the report title also on each page then we need to introduce something called page header okay so let's introduce the page header and now let's move report title to the page header section and now let us move this over here and let us resize the page header okay now if you go to preview then we can see that on the first page there is page uh, report title on the second page also there is report title and on the third page also now there is report title as well as the header row of the tablix okay so the view for the report on each page is now very much consistent right now what if we want to display the execution date and time okay so let's go over here let us introduce a text box in our header section okay now let us add it over here correct now over here we need to introduce an expression so let's go to expression we have built-in fields and the built-in field is execution time okay so global exclamation mark execution time has been added let's click ok so now if you go in preview it will show the execution time of the report on each page as we have added it on the page header section right now what if we want to display page x of y okay so for this uh, let us go to design again let us click over here in outside region and let's click add page footer okay so if we add page footer right then over here we can introduce a text box let's say we call we have introduced a text box okay we have done alignment of the text box and then over here let's go and add an expression again okay so in the expression we will write page m percent so built-in fields page number of total pages right so the this first built-in field will give the page number sorry it's not page name it has to be page number right so it has to be page number and the second field will give the total number of pages right so let's click ok let's preview the report so we can see over here that on the first page it is showing as page one of three on the second is showing two of three and on the third page it is showing as page three of three right so we can do further alignment also right so now it will show in very aligned way 
right so i hope friends this video tutorial on page header and page footer sections and different fields associated to this header and footer sections is useful to you thank you